Hey guys, we're up on the roof today installing the Max Air 2 bed on a very windy Sunday. Uh, don't really recommend it doing it on a windy day because I've during the install almost lost uh, the vent off the roof. But So it's super windy and uh, trying to keep everything from getting blown away. And also with the, the roof, we don't want to poke any holes or anything. So I, I've got my, my little craftsman um, tool, you know, parts bin that I'm just keeping everything in with the nuts and bolts and uh, screwdrivers and everything, uh, keeping it in front of me so I don't accidentally sit down on them or poke a hole through the roof with hardware. All right, so first step, you're gonna take your long screws, go ahead and uh, put them in the brackets. Get your little lock washers. Screw those on. Three eighths inch box end. Cinch them up a little bit. Alright, next you're going to set the vent, a word of advice, don't, um, you have to open your vent up a little bit to uh, be able to access the inside lip here to put your hardware in, but don't open the vent all the way or you won't be able to actually put the uh, vent over the top of it and have it sitting down. <laughs> I had to get down off the trailer twice <laughs> to uh, uh, close the vent down just a little bit. Alright, next you're going to mark your holes. Okay. Right. Now using a 3 16th inch bit. Let's drill your You don't have to plunge all the way through. Insert your screw, you have your flat washer, your lock washer. Okay, two washers. Yep. Let's see if I can get in there. You got like a big one and then a smaller one. And then that. Set them up. All right, next step is getting the uh, the uh, other side marked up here and installed. You get your bracket. So what you do is get your bracket somewhat in place. Bring the vent down, lined up, 
mark on your roof where the bracket is. Make a mark where you need to drill your hole. And then repeat the process for the second hinge. all your hardware like you did on the other side. And I'm not going to set these up all the way until I get the Make sure everything's lined up properly so I don't have to undo them. Cinch it all up. That's looking pretty good where they're at. Go ahead and tighten them down. Uh oh, can you see that? Uh oh, what happened? Stuck my hand in there, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I say simply. <laughs> Just whenever you need to clean out or do any type of maintenance on your on your vent, uh, you can just pull those out, flip it up, so you can access the inside there. All right. So the uh, main reason we want to install these was we like to have the fresh air coming in on the inside of the RV, um, but in the south it rains all the time, so we wanted to have something that we could have the vents open and not be risking. Also, um, I think it provides a little protection from crosswinds. So, uh, obviously, it's a, a whole unit that kind of covers the whole bit. And so, it really doesn't matter if the wind's whipping around. It's not really going to damage the, the inside of the bit. But uh, I was thinking you know, if this thing's fully extended and the wind's whipping the other way, 